really can we can't stop talking about Cheez Its. You can't stop talking. Oh, you didn't in the last match that just happened as of the recording? Oh, okay. Well, oh well, I'm gonna eat this anyway. I know it's not Bonnie's box this time. That, that got finished off pretty quickly. Hey! What up, Shmodown Rockers? So, <sighs> doing my Thursday usual, uh, though given how things have been, I need, I'm going to talk about the first four legit round one matches. I've already discussed another match that happened this week that had to involve a certain pay-per-view match, so I had to set everything for all my stuff this week and this will air, by the point of this will air tomorrow. Sometime around the time when they finally air the pay-per-view from last Friday, this Friday, which was had an awesome main event, given circumstances and everyone, because of it being virtual, they're like, and that asterisk, this match doesn't get to have the love that it probably deserves to have compared to the Bateman match, which... That's what sucks. It's like that. That is already going. They're just immediately because of that, and it's it just makes it not fair for every other match at this point since. <sighs> and which kind of bums me to be honest with you. But anyways, one match I kind of knew was sort of spoiled about, and I do and uh, due to an episode of a certain particular episode, apparently. Um, so I kind of already knew with this Thursday's match, I just didn't know how it was going to play out, and it actually played out as a good, damn good match. So, and it involved for the first time something that I'd been avoiding a little bit because of my ex, Audrey Hepper. <sighs> I feel like I need to, like, use this match. If there was ever a match I would have needed years ago, before I went on a downward spiral, uh, this would have been it. Uh, at least that round two on just to see what my if my ex could pull those, those questions I tell you because she really loved Audrey Hepburn and like it it, it kind of broke me around the time with when Clark had, Wolf had to come out with that entrance uh, I kind of said as much in that in that spectacular three uh, review which was kind of shortly as I was starting up talking about the Schmodown video in video form at least since I couldn't really, it's harder to talk about it in other places, that's why I have this as an outlet. But regardless, the matches themselves currently in this singles tournament round one, virtually, while well, I still have daylight, I guess, for lighting, the... <sighs> yeah. We'll start. I'm blanking now. Yeah, Sloan Harris versus Sabina Graves. The... Yeah, I had Lon Harris in this one, not gonna lie. Uh, Sabina was... Wasn't too... Uh, unfortunately, she had rain rust on her, I think, even though she's also kind of been in that middle, middle ground spot of, like, a decent competitor, you know, but just never could quite get... get to the level, the elite level ne needed... So, which Lon had been for years, but ever since Swag and had this thing with Final Exam having become the delinquent, he's been on a tear this entire season, which has been insane. And, you know, at this point, up until this match, no one bothered to qu uh, uh, no one bothered to talk about Jonathan uh, Harris until now, and I, given his track record, I don't care, and I wouldn't mind him just kind of showing up in like promos and stuff. Don't get me wrong, but but that's like my extent. I don't really care for him as much as a competitor. He was a decent personality, though, for what he was. I would just like to see his his him interacting with this lawn. <laughs> so it should be funny, which would be super funny. But anyways. 
the match, it was wow. Though definitely not the best match in her on her end. It was, it wasn't a bad match, but yeah, we Lawn apparently no. But I didn't expect Sabina Graves to get like knocked out or anything, which is what kind of happened, I think, or at least TKO'd. Um. But it was, which, you know, that gives uh, Swaga once again some extra points going in further. Uh, and then the, one of the matches that, to me, kind of hits a little bit on two ends because uh, one half of the movie guys himself, Paul Preston, of, well, well, at least in terms of the Schmodown as a team, they're no more, but as a group of individuals who do get around and talk about movies and kind of fill in Schmo's void ish. To an extent, that's kind of what they were doing. And it seemed as a team, except if they were to go heelish. Uh, and Powder Keg, Paul Preston, and then Z-Man, or now the Z-1000, as we shall say. And, and it's kind of in a crossroads. I mean, hell, probably not as much as Adam Witt, but, you know, in that match, but given he has his own little slight conflict of interest, but yeah. And plus finding out that Adam Witz and Zipper are probably are going to be a team probably going forward into potentially going forward into the team's tournament on top of it. Uh, which I think I've already mentioned in passing before in other media, but I just it is just kind of was confirmed here, I guess. Mm, which but anyways, the I was I didn't ex, I expected this to be a really tight match. I did not expect Preston to get knocked out at all. I was bummed. I was bummed for him because he's he has not had 2010 has been a bad year for a lot of us. Dungeon included, Bo, it seems we're picking up slack and eventually I need to do something in the dungeon. Um or at least make an announcement in the dungeon. Um, involving some uh, morality boost for uh, for the dungeon heads. Uh, or at least try to come up with something of that nature. But anyways. And Zipper seems to have done that. And as I had stated in the past video, before watching this, the whole... thing with uh, Lon with uh, it's just given what had happened with his wife he was having an issues and he already kind of came off of a loss months ago that wasn't to be expected with Tom with his partner Tom kind of showing the flaws that Tom himself of Tom himself as an actual competitor that apparently video drew herself eventually later on had revealed that she really knew all the answers and that she was just telling them to Tom and making him look smarter. As a master, just to make him look more, just to make them look like a more cohesive and more devastating team, which is kind of what happened. Uh, with that, and which is, and the Cuckoo's Mess was unfortunately not that, and New Tom really wasn't New Tom to me. Uh, and I feel like I think she wanted New Tom to be Vinny, and it seems that would have been great, actually, given what we like. I had already sort of stated with that, but speaking of that, I do. That's going to be tough because it had to be Mark Riley once again. You put. I'm already upset with the Janine thing. Now you want to do this to me, and hit me, hit me where it hurts at home in my dungeon. Towards Video Drew, a player that is probably deserves to be to be in that underrated statement. Merely just going off of her team, what she's been kind of through teams, even with the reveal of what it really is about Tom. Which means that Preston, though a great player himself, doesn't have the certain magic little knowledge thing that that seems, or cohesiveness that was needed. And plus, they just didn't underestimate their opponents, who shouldn't really capitalize at all. Uh in that match, I'll be honest with you. But they managed to because of that round two, and that's what screwed them up. And that was more just because of Kate's rookie mistake. And though the, and Kate and his relationship is just a phenomenal, I also enjoyed what we got out of... 
And, but and I'm happy. I'm happy for Zipper. Regardless, he need, we needed to win in the dungeon. He was one of our first big wins, and Vinny, of course, doing it. I don't feel as bad as what happened with that Sabrina thing, but since Sabrina just at this point, I just want to see if Sabrina had potential, and she does. It's just that she doubted herself a little bit too much in round ones, and we need to see her try to improve and not become a Bonnie Somerville, for the love of God, or that, or in worst case, which is the worst case scenario, the better case scenario being what has been unfortunately happening with Janine. The game has literally, it's gotten to the point where it seems, <sighs> I know she can do it better. That, that, and I'm hoping Video Drew doesn't wind up in that same slot as as that or, and being a weaker player, which we know she isn't. She's actually pretty good. But she's kind of in the category of Janine and that underrated players that do deserve, that have good enough gameplay but aren't, aren't able to show it. And the fact that Janine had to, which we know she could have done better even in singles, but we know she's past potential in IG, but given how stacked it is now, I don't know if she'll ever get a chance to prove herself at this point or even be in the elite so, in terms of the IG, which is even more impossible at this point. So she needs to do something. I'm, I'm guessing from what it seems, given who also might be in um, The Usual Suspects, I think, it may not be Ethan and Guy. It might be Guy and this the other dude that most people aren't talking as much about in comparison to uh, the Tom, whatever his ass name is. Not not the other Tom, but anyways. And it just sucks, by the way, with Paul Preston, it just sucks, other than the, the Ghostbusters car thing, which I really still believe it might actually be the one I had posted that was around my hometown somewhere. Because it looked too much alike. That that funeral car modded into a Ghostbusters mobile thing. Uh, and given what happened with his wife Karen and now dealing with this whole Karen bullsh- This whole use of the word Karen and Karen core to describe a bunch of bullshit about these certain particular brands of one percenter females, which is not what his wife was, despite what his character may claim to be, as AJ, as uh, Call Sign Deja Vu would put uh, in a certain other chat, a 2001 Ray Liotta. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Lancaster. But anyways, the... But overall, it just... The match was solid there. I also loved... The... Matchup between... Uh, the follow-up matchup... That also that came out yesterday alongside that play-in match. That I had already talked about in the last video. Please go check that out. If, well, if you haven't already. which Or else the beginning of this will make no sense anyway. The yeah, holy crap! Uh, that was tight, pretty tight as well. Even though they somehow both missed their twos, but they managed to get their threes, and it just balled down to the five pointers in round three. And it's even though like Jader wound up somehow behind the whole time, and it's just the whiskey, the whiskey man just is having bad luck and. He's not bad, but personally, I don't think if he had actually bothered to study. I mean, granted, the firm is whatever, and Roxy went in hard, and still bothered to go in hard in terms of her uh, healness, uh, which people were giving more crap about that all of a sudden than what happened with Sabrina and them, because you know, I guess everyone has a is WAP or. Or in some cases, uh, what, or they're whopping or fapping over S Sabrina Ramirez, even though, sorry, she's ta apparently she is taken by the what used to be everyone's favorite heel until Chandru happened, uh, Brandon Hanna, the hitman Hannah, uh, even though I think it's more, I think. Though I think it's more the fact of what happened in that chair. I think it was that Black Lives Matter charity thing he did a while back. And if you could somehow impress and 
make someone laugh and probably get WAP at the same time. Uh, yeah, I went Gucci verse with this, by the way. I apologize. Ish. But yeah. That's kind of... No wonder Brandon Hanna managed to get that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's just. I'm just going to throw that out there. That's probably what it was. Yeah, or I even might as well have went Strange Wayne about that. But anyways. The... That match... <clears throat> I mean, that's because Jader was doing really well. And Ken seems to have brought some out of Bonnie, brought... But Alonzo Duranda, he didn't even really need to do much of anything because Alonzo was just good, great enough of himself, and put up one heck of a match. It's just I get he just wasn't able to pull his five, and it was the first time an Audrey Hepburn category was actually spun and actually had questions. So, but I mean it was a little bit of a risk for Brandon to do because which did lead to a steal, which left him behind a little bit. But it did make me want. But it does have me slightly curious and a really messed up sick way of wondering whether or not if my ex would actually get all these questions right. I do believe she would have got those first two. But I hadn't, and I did too as well because of having my conversations with my ex, but previous to the later two out tra ones, I don't know if she would have known for sure, sure. That's die, that goes into diehard Audrey Hepburn territory. So, and I don't know those movies as much, or were in discussion as much as say Roman Holiday, which apparently was her favorite. Uh, or the one movie that has a scene that doesn't age well. And if you take out the scene, it's fine, I guess. I forgot the name of it. Oh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. That's right. Um, but anyways. I don't think they did have Breakfast at Tiffany's. I don't... Was that Roman Holiday? Was this some... Sabrina was the other one. Um, so... But then, of course, that that's what happened with that Alonzo Duralde and Brittany Meyer match. The Jader match was good. I mean, these were fun, solid start startup matches we've had going at this for, at least for round ones going in, and they were fun. I enjoyed them. I enjoyed them thoroughly, um, and it does have me interested in what we're going to see going forward with this. Uh, and given now we no longer have any pay per views that should be of any real effect going forward into this tournament, at least, thank God. So we can at least, I can at least properly separate, if need be, video-wise now, separating my uh, stuff with the singles tournament from what's going on with these pay-per-views, to a degree. Um, so, I'm probably going to wind up, uh, I guess for next week, I'll probably have it now, I may have it out next Friday, for the, the, all those round, those four matches and then probably talk about and then I guess talk about the pay-per-view as well the recent pay-per-view and then I think the following week I'll try to make sure by Monday I talk about the the big one that is going to actually go full on public because they want all eyes on this because of the people like Chris Jericho and Kevin Smith being involved the, and I hope to God this match goes over well and winds up not being so underwhelming that people aren't going to want to come back and watch and be hooked into the showdown. You know, that's I don't want this to be an underwhelming match. Like, I, given the undercard was was already a sequel to a past main event, a live main event. You know, I understand Smith, but I'd like to see Jericho actually pull it and prove himself, or at least prove prove that he's a worthy player. Might be the one good thing the Rockstars will have on their hands at the moment. At least currently given what's been happening I guess with their matchups. Aside from, you know, what wound up happening with um, with uh, Alex Damon and the IG up to a certain point making him semi-finalist at the very least even though that was that didn't end as well, and now it's probably going to light a fire under, which will light a fire under him for when he decides to defend the belt against Ace Cabrera. Andre Ace Cabrera, that is. Uh, so, yeah, that's my thoughts so far. Um, so now it's basically we know that, and from what I can gather and say at this point, in terms of the round one matches, hmm... Um, Lon Harris, 
Eric Zipper, Jader Paramo, and Brandon Meyer. Three out of the two ain't bad. Three out of the four ain't bad so far. Only one busted. Kind of. Uh, so yeah. Those are those are who are advancing so far, going into the next next round of the tournament, uh, and we, uh, round one will continue later. Well, if start up eventually. Well, and round one will eventually continue again next week. Former matches. Uh, so, uh, what did you think of those matches? Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know. As always, guys, keep it random, keep it real, keep it rocking. If you smell, what the movie? Trivia Schmodown Schmodown Rocks is cooking. Ooh, yeah. Dig it, brother.